Welcome everybody once again for more Reign of Chaos Wrestling Strike Zone. Coming to you live tonight from Baltimore, Maryland. For another, excuse me, Providence, Rhode Island. For another exciting episode of Reign of Chaos Wrestling Strike Zone. And we're going to be kicking things off tonight. With a series of matches involving... Or opening contest of Ace Austin and Rhino. And of course, the last time we saw Rhino, he was falling victim to the unintended attack by Leo Rush to get in the head of Dolph Ziggler. And we haven't seen Ace Austin as of late, been up and down here in Rhino Chaos Wrestling, but let's see if he can get onto the right path in our opening contest. Master of the Gore. Legend in his own right, Rhino. Always happy to be in the ring for action. Much like Tommy Dreamer, he's always just happy to help out the younger guys find their place in the world of professional wrestling, and he's going to do that here against Ace Austin. Ace Austin was involved in the Twitch TV Championship match back at RCW Breakout against the winner Leo Rush. But again, Ace Austin's been up and down in his time here in RCW. And speaking of the Twitch Championship, the Twitch Champion Dave Mastiff will be in action looking to defend his Twitch TV Championship later on tonight in our main event. So stay tuned for that. As we now get underway with our opening contest. Of course, both guys come in with advantages on their own right. Rhino with the power and veteran experience, but Ace Austin is one with the youth and speed on his side. Again, even though Ace Austin is very young, he's still has the experience of a long time who the hell wait a minute who who the hell is this I don't know who this is but they, oh my god wait a minute that's a disqualification and they're well Rhino's your winner but it looks like whoever this mass assailant was that they were looking to save Ace Austin whoever they were but I, I don't I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know who that was, but we'll have to we'll 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 have to find out later on as as more information becomes available. But coming up next is our tag team champions in action, the newly crowned RCW tag team champions, the authors of Pain versus the Bar, 
AOP won the tag team titles back at Solar Flare against the former champions, the Street Profits, in a Tornado tag match. So this would be the AOP's first night as tag team champions. Balls to the wall, what is going on? Seamus and Cesaro, very strong, cohesive unit tag team here in Reign of Chaos Wrestling. And let's not forget, both these guys are very accomplished singles competitors. Seamus, a multiple time WWE champion. Cesaro, a former Intercontinental champion over in General Admission Wrestling. So if you want to go and check out General Admission Wrestling on their YouTube channel, as well as their website, GeneralAdmissionWrestling.com, you can see that Cesaro is a former Intercontinental Champion there and held on to that title for quite some time. Again, that is General Admission Wrestling and GA Wrestling on YouTube. But here come the RCW Tag Team Champions. The new champions, again, the authors of pain. The authors of pain. Defeated the Street Profits again at Solar Flare in the Texas Tornado match. The Street Profits, I mean, they were not horrible champions. Let's get that out of the way. They, they weren't bad potential champions. Is this their matters of winning matches were questionable at best matters in which they won matches by count out and every other means of getting victories but to some they may be considered hollow victories but the others of pain earned their shot at the tag team champions a couple of weeks ago when they faced them and put on an absolute classic of a tag team match. I'm looking to set another classic here. Against the bar. Acom for AOP. Cesaro for the bar. A back body drop from Cesaro taking down Acom. Cesaro again, one of the more underrated wrestlers in terms of the potential of becoming world champion. The former Claudio Castanoli. Going to work on Acom here of the Authors of Pain. It'll be interesting to see who in some time may defeat the AOP for the tag team titles. Maybe it could be the bar. Who knows? Later on down the line. An assisted power bomb from the Authors of Pain to Cesaro. But Cesaro, the longtime veteran, traveled the states, the Ring of Honor, and several promotions in a big boot, not even taking down the big man Razor. 
Well, let's be honest, both members of AOP. With a one-handed choke slam. Both members of AOP are very big men. And now Cesaro, sunset flip. In. Thought he was possibly going into the cover there, but he elected not to go for the cover. Cesaro. Sending Razor into his own corner. Tag made. In comes Sheamus. Cesaro with a swing, and we've seen this move before. Oh! Normally with Tyson Kidd as the opposite end. And an arm drag. Taking down Sheamus, and now Sheamus is in AOP's corner, and just like Cesaro did before, Razor sending intimidation down the spine of Sheamus. And now these two just going on an assault here on the abdomen of Sheamus. Bomb out of the corner. And now a ground and pound attack from Akum to Sheamus. And now Sheamus again trapped into the AOP square by the back elbow, putting that to a quick stop. As Sheamus going to work on Akum. Seamus is looking to send Akum into the bar's corner. Keep him isolated from Ray Zarb, and now, now it's Akum using that same strategy. Big boot out of the corner from Seamus. And rolling shoulder tackles. The referee is dealing with Cesaro. Got Akum again sending Seamus into his own corner. Tag made. In comes Ray Zarb. Off the tag, a suplex into an assisted power or neck breaker power bomb combination. Beautifully done by ALP, and in comes Cesaro off the tag, running drop kick, connecting flush to Razor. Back elbow by Razor, running shoulder attacker of his own. Jawbreaker by Cesaro, running European uppercut. And another European uppercut to Razor. Smart strategy by Cesaro to drag Razor far from AOP's corner into the cover off the European uppercut and a kick out from Razor. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll have to provide some updates as it become available on who that masked man was that has saved Ace Austin in his match against Rhino. I. We don't have any idea who that could have been, but again, we'll have to have more information. We'll have to announce it when we have more information available. Spinebuster broke kick assist from the bar into the cover while Razar, excuse me, Aikum is there to break up the pin. Razor just shoving off Sheamus and in comes the tag is Razor. Great strategy by both teams. Frequent tags in and out so that way one man's not dealing or being dealt with all the damage most of the time. Double leg takedown from Akum. And now Sheamus raining down lefts. Akum of AOP. Into the corner. Whoa. Sneak. A sucker punch there from Razor to Sheamus. Now Sheamus going into a Boston Crab here on Razor. Well, excuse me, Akum. Is Akum going to tap out to the Boston Crab? No. Balls to the wall. Thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it very much for supporting the channel. And now just throwing Sheamus off into the ropes. My goodness. And now more left hands coming down into the former WWE champion.
Jarman suplex catch. Sending Razar. I'll get him down. Maybe they should be wearing name tags. Acom, excuse me. Side rush and leg sweep. Taking down Sheamus. Well, just ramming Sheamus' head into the top turnbuckle is Acom. For a solid 10 count. Now here comes Ray Zar of the Authors of Pain. Again, I'm feeling like just with the colognes, I gotta, they got to be wearing name tags. So that way I know who's who. And Ray Zar continuing to go to work on Sheamus. Duo of elbows to the back of Sheamus. Razar dumped over the top rope. Sheamus making the tag to Cesaro. And it just seems like that both teams, one team has an answer for every other attack that the other team is making. There's no clear advantage by any team so far in this matchup. Which is fair to see that you don't want to see one team dominate another. You like to see them have an even playing field. Off the tag is Acom. Uh, the authors of Payne now Acom may be looking to put this matchup away. Not going for the tag finish, which may be a detriment for the last chapter. And a power bomb, jackknife power bomb from Acom to Cesaro. One, two, and Sheamus barely breaking it up. And a little miscommunication there by the tag team champions that Razor just knocked out Acom. Could this be an advantage for the bar in this match? And a kip up from Cesaro, small package. Into the cover. And Razor able to break it up. Now a schoolboy again from Cesaro too, and I believe Aikum was able to kick out. I don't think Razor was able to break it up. As we almost were getting a two-on-one, like a handicap situation here against the tag team champions, against the AOP, and Aikum's looking to make the tag to Razor, but no, Razor's nowhere to be found. A running uppercut by Cesaro, back body drop by Aikum. Aikum is stuck in the ring with no one to tag out to. And Sheamus was taking care of Razor outside the ring. And now here comes Sheamus and Razor in the ring. Show a tackle by Razor. Razor looking for maybe a fallaway slam, but Sheamus able to get the elbows up and counter in a right elbow back up on his feet is Razor. My God, these two bulls go hell like bulls in a china shop. And now Sheamus looking for the Irish curse backbreaker trio. Two and three to Razor. Back into the center of the ring into the cover. Off the Irish curse backbreakers. Razor close line from hell to cover on Sheamus and Cesaro. Saving the matchup. Acom was not even worried about this match. Being put to an end right there. As now Cesaro's out on the floor. And now AOP, the last chapter. To the bar. This could be enough to seal the win for AOP tonight, and it is. AOP picking up a big victory on their first official night as tag team champions. And 
Another great big win for the authors of pain. Sticking what brought them to the dance, which was an all out assault. As we take a look at the replays, there was a power bomb there. And Cesaro trying to be somewhat sneaky about it, except her Razor being right there in the view. AOP are your victors here tonight. As we now move on to our next match, but we will take a quick commercial break. for some women's action here in Reign of Chaos Wrestling. The legend herself, Mickey James, making her way to the ring. Making her way to the ring from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James. Mickey James, a bona fide legend in her career. Not bona fide, she is a legend in her career. Multiple time wins champion in WWE, former knockout champion in TNA Impact Wrestling. Mickey James has done it all in wrestling in her legendary career. As she looks to go toe to toe against a woman who is. Looking to continue to forge her own path here in Reign of Chaos Wrestling, that being Paige. And her opponent, from Norwich, England, Paige. Paige, a two time Divas Champion over in WWE. She has battled many injuries in her career. Many career ending injuries, but she's been able to recover and come back here to Reign of Chaos Wrestling, and we are glad to have her. And Paige squaring off here against Mickey James in mere moments. And here we go, Mickey James and Paige. Swinging neck breaker from Mickey James. This would not be Paige's first time stepping inside of RCW ring. She was here at our inception back in 2016 before we closed our doors. We folded up until this year. Well, formerly what was 2020. And you can go back and watch all of our previous episodes and pay reviews over on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash supersplat. You can find the playlist from this current season and 2016 to 17 again over on our YouTube channel. Mickey James. Whoa, hanging. Page right over the top rope. Dangerous spot to be in. I would I would suggest that Paige would need to be checked out after that by our medical team. Dumped over the top rope is Mickey James. And immediately up on her feet is Mickey. And Paige is saying bring it on. Front chancery here by Paige Mickey. Again with another swing neck breaker. 
another fa feather into the cap of Nikki James if she can win the women's championship here in Reign of Chaos Wrestling, but we'll have to wait and see about that modified stretch here from Paige. A modified Boston Crab. Now Paige able to fight out of the hold by Mickey James. James off the rope and a back body drop by Paige. Paige has been wrestling, since, as we all know, since practically the womb. There's her mother being Soraya Knight. Over in the UK and her life story documented by Dwayne The Rock Johnson in Fighting With My Family. Now Paige working the leg on Mickey James. Smart strategy by Paige knowing that Mickey uses the Mick, the Mick kick. And now we go with a Dragon Sleeper by Paige to Mickey James to even get a tap out victory, but Mickey with the right knees to the face of Paige and Paige looking for a Hurricane Rana, but Mickey able to st put a stop to it. Monkey flip out of the corner. Back elbow by Mickey, and of course Mickey would like to be the women's champion, and that way there's two world champions in the Mickey James household with her husband, Sir Nick Aldis, being the reigning NWA World Heavyweight Champion. And these two just battling out on the apron page. Possibly been looking for the page turner there. Off the ropes is Mickey James. Another back body drop. The lower back of Mickey James and Paige continuing to go to work. As now Paige is looking to put this match away. Looking for the Rampage DDT. To Mickey James and to put this match away for victory for Paige. Two and three. Paige picking up a victory over Mickey James. They just had a little bit more give in the tank here tonight. Mickey James, and here we see the final moments of the match, the Rampage DDT. Into the cover, and that will do it for Paige this week. Got a hungry women's division here in Rain Cast Wrestling, and every single one of these women will love to knock off the current champion, Nikki Bella. Of course, Nikki Bella retained her women's championship in that triple threat match against Jordan Grace and Sasha Banks at Solar Flare. As we now move on to tonight's co main event. Gonna be Bobby Roode taking on Seth Rollins and Seth putting on a absolute banger against AJ Styles a couple of weeks ago on Strike Zone. To the point where I almost was because I was even playing along to the point that the referee may need even to stop the match because AJ was just bleeding profusely in that match. Here comes Bobby Roode, a man who we have not seen a lot of so far, and he's going to have a tough task at hand dealing with the former world champion, Seth Rollins. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds.
Bobby Roode, again, a legend in his own right, former NXT champion, United States champion in WWE. Former world champion in TNA Wrestling, one of the longest reigning champions there. TNA Tag Team Champion, of course, with James Storm as Beer Money. And a multiple time Tag Team Champion in WWE as well. Bobby Roode was eliminated early on in our World Championship Tournament by, I believe, Eli Drake. Rude looking to right some wrongs. Again, taking on a former world heavyweight champion here in Rain of Cast Wrestling and Seth Rollins. comes Seth Rollins, the former world champion, the man who defeated Finn Balor to win the world championship back at RCW overtime in 2017. Making his way to the ring. Or in the ring at this point, I should say. Nothing to be ashamed of. Seth, as he took that loss again, as I mentioned earlier, to AJ Styles. That I would have really, again, just would have suggested that that match be called to a stop but AJ was able to fight back and win the match against AJ Styles is now we get our co-main event underway here Bobby Roode and Seth Rollins two former NXT champions of course Rollins being the inaugural NXT champion Seth Rollins ends a Geary off the ropes. And again, we can't sleep on Bobby Roode, him being a former TNA World Heavyweight Champion. And now Rollins immediately going up to the top rope, looking for a big move here. Looking for an elbow drop right to the middle of the back of Bobby Roode. Quickly into the cover on Rude, and only a two count for Seth Rollins. Again, I mentioned earlier, Rollins, the former world champion, defeated Finn Balor in RCW overtime a number of years ago. After Finn won their first encounter back at RCW final bell in a ladder match for the world championship. What a win this would be for Bobby Roode if he can knock off a former world champion. Now Bobby Roode. A standing suplex to Seth Rollins. Bobby Roode snap mare into the next snap of Seth Rollins. Good strategy here by Bobby Roode working the left knee of which is albeit the good leg I believe for Seth Rollins but just knowing that he uses the curb stomp as his finish 
as his finishing maneuver, but again, just to work on the, I believe the left knee is the good knee for Seth Rollins. It's the right knee that he had to have surgically repaired. And it was put out of action for several months. And his reign as WWE Champion, a bomb out of the corner for Bobby Roode. Roode starting to feel it here against Seth Rollins out of a clothesline in the corner. Floating into the cover. I think barely a one count. Roode looking again for that next snow. Rollins able to get out of it. Roll through, super kick by Seth Rollins. Taking down the glorious Bobby Roode. And there's that ripcord knee strike. Connecting to Bobby Roode. Is this going to be enough for the win for Seth Rollins? And no. A little bit of a flaw in Seth's arsenal is that he sets up for the ripcord knee strike, but it barely gets him any kind of victory. That's always the curve sound that's going to be the nail in the coffin for his opponents. Knife edge chop by Bobby Roode, spine buster to Seth Rollins and Bobby Roode signaling that the end may be near for Seth Rollins kick to the back of Rollins now Bobby Roode looking either for the glorious bomb or the DDT but it doesn't matter spinning heel kick counter by Seth Rollins Rollins Thought he was possibly looking for the curb stomp. Looked for the Enziguri off the ropes. Belly belly suplex countered by Bobby Roode. And Roode with a, a perfect plex to Seth Rollins too. And Rollins able to kick out of the perfect plex. Bobby Roode looking for the glorious DDT. Floating into the cover on Seth Rollins, too. And Rollins continuing to fight in this match. Double axe handle by Bobby Roode. Rollins working the elbow. A back suplex by Seth Rollins. Taking down Root into the cover. A two count only for Seth Rollins as this match continues. Here in our co-main event. Again, our main event, Dave Mastiff, will be defending the Twitch TV Championship. STO counter from Bobby Root. I'm not sure what Seth was looking to deliver there, but he hits an uppercut on Bobby Root. And here's the Seth Walker. to Bobby Roode. Now Rollins getting back in this match. Series of forearms into a sling blade. And now Roode rolling into the outside of the ring. I don't know what benefit that was to him other than to gain his bearings, but Rollins staying right on top of him. And Seth sending Bobby back in the ring. Seth going up top, long way to go. Elbow drop missing for Seth Rollins. And now Rude. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. We got monkeys operating the switchboard once again. Bobby Roode been busted open, but Rollins now looking for the knee, ripcord knee strike. The Bobby Roode is a cover for Seth Rollins, too. 
And that's going to do it for Bobby Roode this week. Seth Rollins picking up a win over Bobby Roode. Take a look at the replays of this match. Huge spine buster by Bobby Roode. There's a the perfect plex, which looked like it could have been putting away Seth Rollins in this matchup, but Rollins still able to fight out of it. And continue with this match. Seth Rollins continuing to build momentum to possibly becoming a two-time world champion, but of course he has to defeat the current champion, Kevin Owens, if it ever comes down to it. As Kevin Owens retained his world championship against Wade Barrett at Solar Flare. And now we come to our Main event this week, ladies and gentlemen, the Twitch TV Championship on the line as Dave Mastiff looks to defend the title against Eli Drake. But of course, if you subscribe to our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash tubasplat, you subscribe to the first tier, you unlock several rewards for being a prime or being a subscriber to the channel, but you included but not limited to getting to select who will challenge for the Twitch Championship every week. Again, as well as other perks to our Twitch channel. Massive looking to continue to retain the gold after he lost it to a brief spell to Curtis Axel. He would regain the championship at Solar Flare. But now he has to deal with Eli Drake. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Internet Television Championship. Eli Drake making his way to the ring. Eli Drake, a former world champion over in TNA Impact Wrestling as their world champion. As well as a former NWA Tag Team Champion with James Storm. No doubt in my mind that Eli Drake will be a world champion, or excuse me, a champion here in Reign of Chaos Wrestling. Not to doubt that he could be a future world champion, but a champion nonetheless, and he could be doing that here against Dave Mastiff for the Twitch title. Dave Mastiff entering the ring as a two-time Twitch champion. Again, regained the title at Solar Flare against the former champion Curtis Axel. Which I am told that he no longer wants to be called Curtis Axel because that's the name that WWE gave him. So he wants to go by the name of his birthright, that being Joe Henning. So... 
I don't know, at some point we will see Joe Henning back here in an RCW ring, but for right now it's all about the Twitch Championship. Introducing the challenger from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, Eli Drake. Introducing the champion from England, weighing in at 322 pounds, he is the internet television champion, Dave Masters. International flair here in our main event. Dave Masters, of course, from the black country of England. And Eli Drake from the United States. And that's what it's all about, the Twitch Championship. Again, in our main event here tonight, this week on Strike Zone. And here we go. Eli Drake and Dave Mastiff. Of course, this was a matchup in the World Championship Tournament that, e that Eli Drake would take a loss to. In that match, Mastiff in control of Eli Drake, but Drake able to counter off of a belly to belly suplex attempt. And Mastiff just putting a stop to the momentum of Eli Drake hard and fast. And whips Drake back into the middle of the ring, my goodness. Other ups goes Drake. With a shoulder tackle by the bomber, Dave Mastiff. Now Mastiff, we saw this before in his previous outings. An all-out assault on his opponents. Pick that up, no doubt, from Pete Dunn, one half of British Strong Style, down in General Emission Wrestling with Tyler Bate. Of course, the whole UK scene have, seems all, all grown up and trained together with each other. Now Eli Drake with the next snap too. Dave Mastiff. Again, another this win would be for Eli Drake if he can win the Twitch Championship. Of course, Eli Drake... Loves to talk smack to his opponents, calling them dummies. Calls them dummy, yeah. Now Mastiff with a shoulder tackle again, taking down Eli Drake. And Dave Mastiff in a powerbomb position into a buckle bomb to Eli Drake into the corner on your far right. Your upper right corner of the ring into the cover for Dave Mastiff in the kick out at one for Eli Drake. Can't stop, but can't help but not say his name the way it is. He goes Eli Drake and Eli Drake in control of the match for now. Fighting out of the hold. And Eli Drake again with another neck snap. To the Twitch champion. Overhand rights from Eli Drake. Look at her clothesline to the back. And Eli Drake with a neck breaker attempt. Massive with a huge one of his own. Putting a stop to Eli Drake. Fireman's carry. We know what this means. A rolling senton from the bomber. And now, Dave Mastiff with a tiger driver. To Eli Drake. This is going to be enough to put Drake away in our main event here of Strike Zone 2 and 3. Dave Mastiff. 
retains the Twist Championship for the first time. Here we can take a look at the replays of that big buckle bomb, which was nearing the end for Eli Drake. A sign of the end of the times. Finishing touches on the match, a rolling senton from the bomber. Then it would be the result of the Tiger Driver. And rolling into the cover would be the first successful title defense for the Twitch Championship for Dave Mastiff. Dave Mastiff holds on to the gold for one night more. And again, just like when he won the title, he was talking smack to Kevin Owens saying, if I can't win your championship, I'll just take this one. And he's doing just that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for us this week here on Reign of Chaos Wrestling Strike Zone. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to drop a like on this video and to subscribe for more exciting action, more Reign of Chaos Wrestling. And again, check out our, U our Twitch channel, excuse me, for every week we go live, and on YouTube it is a one-week delay, so if you want to watch RCW Live, make sure to tune into our Twitch channel. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and we'll see you right here next week on The Strike Zone.